Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 25 of Vlogmas, therefore it's the last day. Merry Christmas to everyone who's watching if you celebrate and if not, I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. <laughs> um, so I guess the, uh, the final thing I can talk about today is just kind of what my family always did on Christmas Day since, as I've mentioned many times now, that we always um, celebrated Christmas Eve, Christmas gifts were always open Christmas Eve, etc. Um, obviously, the next morning was something I always looked forward to because even though I knew what my presents were, I got to finally play with them. Um, I didn't really get much time to play with them the night before because uh, we opened gifts right around midnight, um, sometimes a little earlier, but um, when it was at our apartment, it was at midnight, and then, you know, like, okay, open your presents and then go to bed. <laughs> and of course, I struggled to fall asleep after that because I was just so excited about all the toys and I want to play with them. Um, but then the next morning, I get to get up and, um, and play with all the presents while my grandmother made breakfast. So that was always um, kind of fun um, the next morning. And... Um, when we finally started going to my uncle's house for Christmas, um, obviously, like, we opened all the presents up, and then we had to kind of pack them up into bags and stuff and um, take them with us as we get got driven, driven home. So, uh, and then, you know, since we got home, it was like, okay, it's time for you to go to bed. <laughs> so, uh, regardless, you know, it wasn't until the next morning that I was able to actually really appreciate um, all the gifts that I'd gotten, especially the fun ones. Um, obviously, the, the socks and the underwear was, you know, I, I wasn't playing with those. <laughs> um, and then my grandmother would always make breakfast, and a tradition, now, it, it, it's something that I'll usually wait a few days until after the holidays to do, but um, for her, it was the next morning, she always made pancakes out of the leftover mashed potatoes. So we always had mashed potato pancakes um, for breakfast the next morning. And it's still one of my favorite holiday treats. Although, like I said, I usually wait uh, a few days um, before I, I have them. So um, it was like three or four days after Thanksgiving when I finally made myself a platter of um, the mashed potato uh, pancakes from what was left over from, from Thanksgiving. And oh, they're so good. <laughs> They're one of my favorite, um, uh, one of my favorite pancakes. And my grandmother also made um, German potato pancakes as well. And the difference, the difference is because you can make potato pancakes either with cooked mashed potatoes or you can make them with raw potatoes. And then the raw potatoes are also, I believe that's the kind that, that um, traditionally Jewish people also eat uh, and are called latkes, I think. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong on that, but um, they're they're also just a, a very common German dish as well And uh, I grew up eating them just like my grandma would make them for, for dinner once in a while and things and um, They I wouldn't say they're one of my comfort foods, but they're definitely one of the one that, one of the foods that I enjoy eating <laughs> so um, I I just, I just haven't made, I haven't made them in a while, I should make them. But you basically take, at least the way my grandmother made it, you take a, a, an onion and some potatoes, raw um, and peeled, and then you take a, a grater and you grate them um, so that they kind of make a mush. And then add flour and egg, some salt, and then you just basically, you, you, you ladle them into hot oil in a pan like any other pancake. And so you end up with these nice, uh, crispy kind of potato oniony deliciousness. And uh, we always served ours with applesauce. Um, I think you can serve them with either applesauce or sour cream. And I've, I've known some people who, who are like, yeah, I gotta have, have that with sour cream. And I'm used to them with, uh, with applesauce. Although sour cream does sound pretty good. I, I haven't tried it with that. Um, so if I ever make them again, maybe I will uh, try them with that. So, yum. <laughs> But yeah, that was kind of our Christmas day tradition was kind of low key and just uh, get to play with, with the gifts that we got and relax, have, have a, a, a yummy breakfast with leftovers, uh, usually watching um, all the Christmas specials on TV that were on, on TV that day. Uh, I mean, obviously like Rudolph and Frosty and all those things, a lot of that was on 
during the, the days and weeks um, coming up to Christmas, but there was always something on, on Christmas Day as well, like, like Sound of Music or... So I forget exactly, I think it was different every year, but there was always something to watch. So we usually would gather on the TV and, and watch that in the evening um, after having leftovers for dinner, <laughs> which was, you know, delicious. Because, um, like I said, we always had leg of lamb for, for dinner, and so I, I, I always loved having leg of lamb leftovers the next day. So that was good. And it was just really low key. And um, and then the next day, the 26th, I know in England is Boxing Day, which is another holiday, but it was my mom's birthday. So, you know, it was usually like we had the celebration on, on the 24th and we kind of sometimes celebrated my mom's birthday right on the 25th and sometimes we waited until the 26th, but she usually had to go back to work. So it was, it was easier just to celebrate on Christmas day for her since she was home um, versus, um, you know, if the next day was a weekday and she had a job, then she had to go to work. So uh, it was just easier for us. And so she usually got, you know, Christmas slash birthday gifts every year. Poor thing. <laughs> At least my birthday is December 2nd, and so I'm at the beginning of the month, and it's, it's a three, it's, it's three week separation between my birthday and Christmas, and so it gives enough time where I actually got, uh, I got to, to get separate gifts and everything, and um, it, it, was, it was nice because it kind of made the whole month of December a holiday, starting with, I mean, well, actually it started with Thanksgiving, and then came my birthday a week later, and then there's St. Nicholas Day, there's the whole 12 days of Christmas, the advent calendar for the whole month, and then you've got um, Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, my mom's birthday, and then um, tie it all up with New Year's. And so you kind of have from Thanksgiving to New Year's, you just have all of the celebration going on. And uh, my birthday was like right smack dab in the middle of it almost. And so it kind of made, like, it kind of made me feel special. It did. Um, so that was, that was a fun little tradition and I'm glad that my family did that. Uh, kind of kept, kept things going with my birthday and, and just kind of throwing that in there with everything else and, and just making the, the whole month of December pretty much a, a special occasion. So what are your Christmas traditions? You know, uh, not a lot of you are talking to me, but I know you're watching. I see your views. Uh, come on, tell me what your uh, what your traditions are in the in the comments below. I'd, I'd like to, to hear what your uh, what you do if if you celebrate Christmas and if you don't, what do you celebrate if anything? And do you celebrate the solstice? Do you celebrate the Yule? You know, um, Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and I forget what the, I know. There's at least one Muslim holiday as well in December. I forget the name of it and I apologize, but. I just can't keep up with, there's so many holidays in the month of December, which is why I don't get why people are upset over, you know, being wished happy holidays, because most of the time when you talk to people, um, unless they're wearing a hijab or something, you don't know what their religion is. So, you know, it's safer to say happy holidays than assume everyone's a Christian. So, uh, there's, my, there's my little mini rant for the day. <laughs> So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, I wish you all a, a Happy New Year. Um, I will try and come back uh, next year with more videos and things. If you have anything you would like me to do a, a vlog on, a, a topic you want my opinion on, you know, leave, leave a comment in the um, comments below as well and just kind of let me know. And uh, I, I, will, I will probably try and, and make a video, not maybe on New Year's, may, maybe on New Year's Day, we'll see, but um, definitely not until next year. So once again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.